Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So today I want to take the EZA Great Sandman 1 and 2 um, into Special Pose Category Super Battle Road. Now, here's the thing, right? Um, the Special Pose stage dropped along with, you know, Exploding Rage and some of these other, like, small sort of gimmicky bad category teams, right? Um, and it's like, it's just like, wow, like, these teams, uh, like, don't really support having, like, a Super Battle Road stage. Um, but they have since buffed a lot of them, right? Like, we've gotten powerful free-to-play option for Revenge. This guy is a powerful option for special pose free-to-play. Um, obviously, we got the banner unit, the AGL Gotenks, who might even be the best unit on the category in general. Like, we have a lot of options. Special pose is infinitely easier now. I'm recording this on July 22nd compared to when this stage originally came out. What? On, like, June 5th or whatever the hell? Whenever the hell it came out, something like that? This stage is way easier than it was back then um, because of the, the buffs it's getting, right? And a lot of the, the newer characters. Um, so let's go ahead and test out Great Sandman 1 and 2 in here. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm just... They're sort of a jack of all trades. I just think they're going to be helping us out big time in here. Now, remember that they do get stronger against extreme class enemies. Um, it says when attacking. This Vegeta, I believe, is... No, no, no. Boo is the second fight. So... We, there actually are two enemies. Oh, this is pro we're probably gonna immediately die right here. Uh, again, the stage is very tough. So, I mean, their defense, no, I, dude, they're, remember they get 30% defense on super. I, I really would like to target Vegeta because remember that gives him a, a guaranteed additional that could be a 30% chance to super if we, we have to target Vegeta though. It's not just Vegeta being present. We have to specifically target him. The only thing with that is, you know, remember, so, like, this is where this unit is ridiculously versatile. They're going to be really good for difficult content. I, it's just like LR Roshi, right? I could go for big damage on Vegeta, right? Um, I mean, they're not going to do the most damage ever, but they'll they'll do reasonable damage. They'll give us a two-turn attack buff as well. We got God Topo and uh, Topo slash Pride Trooper together next turn, which is good. Um, or what we could do is I could just go for the 12 key super attack, which is a seal. We could guaranteed seal Vegeta. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that. We're going to seal Vegeta. Um, and then since I'm already... at let's, let's just then attack Krillin. Krillin is pretty weak. Uh, we could die right here. Especially if Vegeta... If Vegeta super attacks right away. I mean, that's just bad luck. Okay. Ooh, that's... Damn. Okay, they got hit hard. Dude, he did 75k. Their defense is like 169k or whatever. How much will they take right here? Oh, with a double super, they're now taking double digit damage. Beautiful. And they could triple super as well. Remember, every super attack is giving them defense. Yep, they did triple super. They did indeed. Pretty good start for them, honestly. Um, man, so I, I could have gone for the big 18 key super on him, given the two turn attack buff, and then we still would have sealed him. But I just wanted to be very cautious and just be sure. Now, because Saiyan Man 1 and 2 are giving the 50% defense... Uh, the base Gotenks is, should be okay. Uh, I mean, he's still taking a little damage. But, I mean, this is... Base Gotenks is not great. Oh, Vegeta hits way harder than Krillin and Gohan. I see. Okay, 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 okay. That, that makes sense. Um, but, you know, base Gotenks super attacking first. And then getting the defensive support from Great Saiyan 1 and 2. That allowed us to survive that turn where we otherwise might not have. Okay, so... Let's definitely debuff Vegeta, dude. Vegeta, you're an annoying little prick, I'll tell you that. Um, and we should be able to get rid of Krillin. I can't get the 11 key super attack, unfortunately. Do I just go for... I'm gonna... Um... I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna risk it. I'm not gonna take the coward's way out of using an item. Vegeta is sealed, and I'm gonna use an item? No, no. No, 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 no. I just wanted to put the debuff. I should have had everyone attack Krillin, honestly. This might have been a misplay. Uh, just to make sure that Krillin couldn't possibly be hit. Or Krillin couldn't possibly hit Gotenks. Might have been the smarter play right here, but we'll see. I mean, Gotenks, even with type disadvantage, is going to slap the shit out of this Krillin with the support ability. I think Krillin is dead. Even if, even if Gotenks doesn't crit or anything, I think Krillin is out of here. Gotenks hits ridiculously hard. For a character that might not, you know, sometimes with even without like links active and stuff, we'll survive this. Um, yeah, even if he takes, he's we're fine, we're fine. Gotenks is powerful and he's got type advantage. That's not too bad. All right, 
This is why I bring Dende items as well to these uh, showcases. So now we can pop a Dende and we can ke still keep uh, seeing um, how we're looking in terms of like their defense and stuff like that. What link do we have? What is a special pose? Oh, they have two. What is a special pose and supreme power? Our two links that they have with that in go tanks. I mean, special pose or signature pose, I guess is what the global link is called. Three key, 7% attack. Then supreme power is 10% attack and defense. But really, we would like to keep AGL go tanks on rotation. Wow, AGL go tanks actually got higher defense, huh? Uh, remember that AGL Gotenks, by the way, is another character who gets a lot of defense on super attack. I'm gonna do this right here. Vegeta has been debuffed, and then Gohan... Yeah, okay, so... Let's just go ahead and put the big time super attack on Vegeta. Vegeta, quite honestly... I think we're just gonna finish. I think this rotation is done. Um, because the Gotenks are just ridiculously stupid together. Vegeta is not sealed. It's still 42k... Only took 8k from that Gohan right there. Again, when you're, like, actually, like, doing, like, a, a run with this unit, you're probably not going to want to run them in slot one. Uh, like, like th th this is a great floater for this stage, in all honesty, right? Um, you know, because they're giving four key 50% defense while having the ability to seal. Um, and then defensively, they, they should be sufficient defensively um, after they super attack. Especially if, if, like, you're attacking Vegeta or the Super Boo in the next fight, if we attack either of them, um, you know, the chance to double super is very, very high for this great Saiyan 1 and 2. And yep, there we go. We get the stun on Gohan, because that EGL Gotenks is ridiculously, stupidly uber busted. That Gotenks is so crazy. That EGL Gotenks, he is legitimately, like, one of the best units in the game for Super Battle Road. Just an AoE stunning unit is so good. Like, he's so powerful defensively he's good after he supers like it's like i i know item this stage in like one or two tries or something like that i think once i got him right once i was able to take shitty dispo off my team <laughs> right like it, it actually was uh possible um all right so we are gonna debuff boo here um i am gonna use an item again i did many no item attempts on this before egl go tanks came out um, that, like, would I would get to this point, and then, like, Super Boo, if I didn't get him stunned or, like, sealed or something instantaneously, Super Boo would just annihilate you. He, this Boo is tough for this stage, right? Uh, the Topo Slash Pride Trooper unit obviously is able to handle business a little bit, um, you know, with their, uh, you know, guard ability and then also the debuff. Then God Topo, of course, has got type advantage, so he'll be good. But in Gotenks as the leader, he gets roughed around. That's one issue. Int Gotenks can be good in Super Battle Road stages. You know, the first turn, he's not great. But once he goes Super Saiyan, he can really take control of the fight. The problem with this stage is the fact that you have to run double Int Gotenks. Um, having two of him on the team is not ideal. Um, the Tobo Pride Trooper unit is special pose, but 120%? I don't know about all that. Ooh! Hoo, hoo, hoo. You don't say... Well, well, well. Okay. This is uh, ideal for us. Um, I really want to just, just show how good... Like, uh, if I do this, like, we guaranteed we won. We, we beat Super Boo. Because now he's sealed. Now we're going to keep the attack debuff train rolling on him. Again, he's sealed, so we don't have to worry about any super attacks coming in on us. Like, we're good. Like, we're, we're completely good to go. Boop. No super attack for you, bitch. You know, they're, they're, we're giving defense to the two Gotenks. The Gotenks are not going to take damage no matter what. Um, they're taking double-digit damage right there as well. There looks like they're right on the cusp of double-digit damage from this guy. Um, although, wait, he was... He was debuffed by Topo last turn, though. But, I mean, I, I feel like my, the point has been proven. 5.3. This dude is doing... F oh, he is... No, he is getting support from AGL Gotenks. Yeah, AGL Gotenks is giving... Uh, because uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is on the time limit category, so he's getting support. But, I mean, you guys can see how good this Great Saiyan 1 and 2 is, right? Like, I imagine, like, if you're a global player, many global players are probably going to get, like, their, their first clear of this stage. You know, like, Great Saiyan 1 and 2 are going to be a huge, huge deal, a huge portion 
of getting your win in this stage, I think will come from Great Saiyan 1 and 2. Just a very powerful easy A. Um, and they're going to be good on a lot of category, other category teams, too. They're great for Join Forces, Movie Hero, Defender of Justice, Boo Saga. Uh, this is a character I personally am going to be using all the time. I mean, a, a support type unit that gives four key is outrageous. I mean, you guys have seen, like, I'm running them just on a rotation next to, like, AGL Gotenks. Like, they share zero links. And it's just like, it, it kind of doesn't matter, right? Because, like, Great Saiyan's giving the key. Yep, there's the stun from Int Gotenks. Remember, again... Um, when Int Gotenks goes Super Saiyan, uh, he actually becomes quite good. Uh, it's just that he's, he's not great uh, before he goes Super Saiyan. All right, so Boo is stunned, so we don't have to worry about him. We can go ahead and let Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 um, get their big time super attack in. They're also going to, their stats will be a little bit better because they link up better with the Int Gotenks, right? Having both Signature Pose and uh, Supreme Power. But yeah, there you guys go. I mean, I feel like I could just finish it up right here, like... I feel like they performed very well. Their attack stats aren't the greatest, but they have a lot of utility, right? It's just, it, there's some similarities with LR Roshi there. Like, one reason LR Roshi can be so good is how much utility he has. The revive, he could stun, he can seal, he could dodge, he's got support, he has good defense. Like, you just go down, like, Roshi does everything. You just go down the line. And it's like, the Great Saiyan 1 and 2, they're just sort of like a worse version of Roshi. Um, sort of. I mean, because their their buff is for all super class allies, where Roshi's only buffing Turtle School, for example, right? Uh, I don't know. I feel like we're good. Like we, we do, we saw like they they dominated this great same man one and two man. They are a spectacular, outrageous, super good EZA. I I adore this unit. I love this unit. I'm gonna be using this character an awful lot. Let me know what you guys think of EZA great same man one and two in special pose category super battle road. Thanks guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.